Hello folks, welcome to the next video here in our series. This is part of a series, PHP from Intermediate to Advanced. And this one is going to be about extending classes. So I have a folder created here by the name of PHP underscore training. It's in localhost. And why don't we just do a fresh start, shall we? So let's kick this one off by creating a brand new file and let's call it first.php with an uppercase F. Now, by the way, um, when Codeigniter 3 came out, there was a lot of people upset because suddenly they started asking for an uppercase first with the file names when you had a PHP class. If you've ever wondered why that change happened, then stay tuned because that's coming up. But in any event, for the moment, let's just say class first and we'll do that okay and that's us now created a class congratulations now we're going to just say function run and we're just going to say echo hello from first something like that and i'll maybe chuck in a new line okay so pretty simple stuff no surprises and all is well let's now create another new file we'll call this one second again we'll have an uppercase first character on the start of the second there, the file name. And once again, I'll explain exactly why we do that in an upcoming video. In fact, it's coming right up. So for this one, we're going to say class second extends first. But of course, there's a mistake here, right? Because I've not included the first one. We need to bring this one into the picture before we can extend anything. So I'm going to call upon require once and I'm going to require that first.php. If you're wondering why I'm saying require once and not include or something like that, then I encourage you to go back and watch the previous video. And if you're worried about why is he using parenthesis instead of doing that, well, go to the second video and you can hear me talk about that. But the upshot is do what makes you feel good. Anyway, in this second class, I'm going to just say function rock and I'll just echo rock and roll and we'll do a new line okay now if we refresh and click into these little beauties nothing is going to happen of course because even though we've created the classes we haven't done anything with them so to bring them to life we're going to say second is a new instance of second and we can do it just like that and then, hello Honolulu, now we can call upon the various things like rock, for example. If we save, if we refresh, there we go. Now, because we've extended the first class, that means that we have access to the stuff that's happening here. So we can then just go in and say, okay, so second, we're going to call upon run. And if we save and refresh, well, hello Honolulu, now we are calling upon that first class. And it's all because we have extended the first class. And that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. So when you use a framework like TronGate or CodeIgniter or something, and you see code that says extends, and you see this type of thing, now you know what's happening. Somewhere... There's a big old class that loads up all of the stuff needed to make the framework work and you are just building upon that. Okay, well done. I'll see you in the next one.